Hey, it's Anita. Welcome or welcome back. I am coming at you today with my currently inked video for the month of July. I am only a few days behind in life, so let's not waste any time and hop right into it. Alrighty, y'all, let's go. First up is a permanent, <laughs> semi-permanent fixture in my currently inked lineup. It is my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in the colorway Planetary Nebula. I love this pen. Let's take a moment. And it is still currently inked with Pelican Edelstein Appetite. I love this ink. I love this combination. It is so, I don't know. I just love it. And until I find another similar kind of color, maybe a little bit brighter, I'm gonna just rock and roll with this. So let me put this over here. So I just put lotion on my hands. And this is my, my Leonardo. I love this pen. This has a medium nib. My writing is horrible. I have not written anything today until just now. Well, except for currently inked, but that's different. Okay, and it's inked with Pelican, Edelstein, Appetite. I may have to get another bottle of this ink because I love it that much and I don't know if these like annual inks they do stay around. This has got a medium nib. I love this pen. I love it so much. And yes, semi-permanent. I'm, I'm sure someday something will show up that knocks it off the perch, but right now we're not there. Next up is new to the lineup. There'll be an unboxing video up soon. This is a pen I have wanted for a long time. And then I realized I really did want it and I appreciated it for what it, what it is. It is a Pilot Custom 743 in the color Verdigree. It's a US exclusive and it's currently inked with, surprise, it doesn't match, Weringal Heimdall. This pen has a falcon nib and this is the first time I've had a nib that's not just standard I guess this is pilot custom 743 and the nib is a 14 karat gold nib falcon and it's inked with wearing gold Heimdall. I wanted an ink that would shade nicely and it didn't need to match because I have so many similar colors. I wanted something different so I decided to put in a nice golden orangey color. Up next is back from the month of June. It is my Asveen V as in back filler 126 in the color transparent teal and it is still currently inked with andirillium purple galanul purple i love this pen i've had such good fortune i don't know if it's just my luck or if it's just their consistency because all of my asbine pens have had really good nibs B126 and it's got a medium nib and it's transparent teal and it's inked with andirillium purple. Galanul. And again, I didn't exactly match because I wanted to see it more and have it look different. 
Galano Purple. And it's been a nice, smooth, consistent writer. And I'm totally enjoying it. And I am going to write it dry. So I don't know. Depending on how this month goes, it may be back in August. We'll see. Up next is interesting. This pen I picked up, uh, was it the end of May? Yes, it was toward the end of May. I picked it up. It's an Atlas Stationers exclusive. It is the Delta Duna in the Red Abalone Blank by Jonathan Brooks at Carolina Pen Co. I love it. It just gives me kind of that mother of pearl energy I was after. And it's currently inked with a combination. It's inked with Andorillium. What is it called? Um, Pompadour Katinga Burgundy. But the color was a little too pink for me, so I dipped it into um, a vial a vial of, I think this is it, Waterman Inspired Blue to change the color. And I'm totally digging that because I just wasn't really feeling that pinky burgundy. That just wasn't for me. So this is my Delta Zuna. This pen has a medium nib. I might have to dip again. And I don't know, we'll see how this goes. And it's red abalone. If you see my video that I posted last with my review of my June pairings, you'll see the ink sample, the writing sample rather looks different. It looks more like bluish purple than it looks red. And this one's starting to look more red, which is kind of interesting. And the ink is andorillium. I always forget this name, Pompadour. Katinga. Burgundy. And I'm gonna make a note. Dipped in Waterman Inspired Blue. I like it. I like how it gradually changes. And you can even see it here. I'll hold it up at the end. You can see it kind of here in the little scribble swatch I did where the swatch is more purpley and as I write, it's more and more less purple and more of that burgundy color. And yeah, I'll see if I can pull out um, or insert, that's better, I will insert a swatch of the um, the andorillium ink as it naturally appears in, in nature. Oh my goodness, it's so fun to watch it change. That makes it better for me. All right, I've got next my Twisby Eco in the color Persian Green. I love this color. And I was looking for an ink to pair with it. And honestly, an ink I just wore out last summer, which is Warangal Wayfarer. I didn't want to do that. I didn't even think of it until after the fact. I wanted something that kind of matched, but nothing quite matched the way I want it to. And I didn't want to put Appetite in here. So I made my own mix of two Waterman inks. I mixed Inspired Blue and Harmonious Green to get the color I want. And I like it. I think when the vial is empty, because I have like um, a vial full of it, I'm going to mix it again. I think it's this. Yeah, this is it. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. And mixing inks is so much fun. I feel like a scientist. All right, so this is my Twisby Eco. This has got a medium nib, and it is Persian green. And it is inked with 
a Waterman mix. Yeah, this mix, it's like the, it's more like a, to the teal side. It really matches the pen nicely. And, but I like it a little more to the blue side. But yeah, I, I'm going to have fun mixing inks. I'll just leave it there. Um, and it's Inspired Blue. And, oh boy, Harmonious Green. All right, I wanted to make it fit. All right, am I still in the frame? I haven't lost out. No, nope, I'm still good, okay. All right, I love that. I love the color of that pen. And then, of course, I had to add another Twisby because it's just so pink. I love this. I just got this recently. It was pre-loved. Yes, it is a pink Twisby with a fine nib. And yes, I did not care. And no, I won't even bother changing the nib. It's okay. It's my only fine nib Twisby. All the others, I have one extra fine. No, two extra fines. And the rest are either medium broader stub so this is my only fine nib and I'm going to keep it that way and this is currently inked with a color that I really appreciate now but I didn't when I got it it is Pilot Iro Shizuku Sutsuji did I say that right tell me if I said it wrong I love it it's so bright and punchy and I like how it works with the pen so Twisby Eco. It's different writing with the fine nib. Fine nib. And it's in pink. And it's inked with Iro Shizuku. Let's see if I can spell it right. T S U T S U J I. All right, I love this. It's so bright and punchy. When I got it, I wanted a bright pink, but I don't even think I used it. I think I swatched it and that was it. But now with this pen, it's like, yes, please. I'm totally, totally here for it. I love it. Okay, back from last month is my Twisby Mini. I added it about mid-month to my lineup. And it's in the color Grape. It's so cute. And it is still currently inked with Diamine Jacaranda. And I love this color. When I swatched it, I loved it, but I didn't use it. And I, I couldn't tell you why. I know why. I was completely obsessed with Rainbow's End. And at least as I remember it now and how I remembered it then, Rainbow's End, of course it has a shimmer, a pink shimmer, but the base color is a deeper color than the Jacaranda. It's like kind of in the same family, but it's a deeper tone. And I I love this too, but I love that one more. So I was all about Rainbow's End for a minute. So this is my Twisby Diamond Mini. It's my first mini, it's so cute. This pen has a broad nib. The color is grape. And it's currently inked with Diamine Jacaranda. And that's from the 2023 Inkvent calendar. And I may have to get a bottle because I really like it. And I need a bottle of rainbows and I didn't get it yet because right now I am more obsessed with Cashmere Rose. I did get a bottle of that. Okie dokie, next pen. Let me move my candle. I needed that candle today. I was getting all wound up and it just chills me out. I love this candle. It's called Eucalyptus Rain from Bath and Body Works. Here's the label, except that label's different. I think this was like um, maybe a seasonal label on here eucalyptus rain i love it it's so fresh anyway back for the summer is my punch esterbrook sd with a medium nib and it 
is currently inked with. This is another surprise. I think I'm <laughs> stopping with the matchy matchy. It's inked with Waterman Inspired Blue because I love Waterman Inspired Blue. I'm going to run out of this ink. That's a lie. I will eventually. But um, I've used about not quite half the bottle. I love that blue. Oh, so good. Okay. This is my Esther Brooke Esty Medium Nib and Punch. And it's inked with Waterman Inspired Blue. I love this blue. I didn't know how I was gonna feel with a blue ink coming out of here, especially this shade of blue, cause it doesn't quite go in my head, but I love the blue so much that I don't care. And I love the way that SD writes. So yeah, it's a win for me. Alrighty, next pen. I brought this back cause I love it. It is totally influenced by Karina Love's plan. My Le Bon 325 in the colorway Sakura. And it is currently inked again with Diamine Cashmere Rose. I loved writing with this so much. I had to do it again because it was just so good and I missed it. I don't know why I only have one of these pens. I've been buying other pens. I really like the way this writes. This has a broad nib and I love this ink. This is my Love Bond 325 Broad Nib. And I got broad because I really made up my mind that I wanted this color. And broad and stub were my only choices. And I didn't want to get a stub. This was early on in my fountain pen rabbit hole of a journey. Okay. And this is Sakura. And it's inked with Diamine. Cashmere Rose. I love this. This is going to be a good month. I don't see anything not working out. Well, I see one that might not, but I don't even care. It's just kind of like a throwaway pen to see if it acts right. And if it doesn't, I make a note of it and I deal with the pen later. But you will get to that one in a minute. Next up is my cutie. <laughs> I love this pen. It's so cute. It's my Pilot Prera in the color ivory. And it's currently inked with... Oh, I see leftover shimmer. Huh. I think it's shimmer. That's okay. It is okay. Currently inked with a Diamine, Diamine Walnut which is also from the 2023 Infant Calendar. Pilot Prera. I love this pen. It's got a medium nib. And the Pilot mediums are finer than the Estabrook mediums. And it always takes me a second to kind of adjust. And I just start writing and it comes out looking a little wonky. And I'm like, oh, slow down, Anita. Okay, and it's inked with Diamine Walnut. All right, I like how this looks. Brown and ivory for the win. Finally, the last pen is a Jinhao Franken pen. I'm not sure what the colors are. One's kind of a transparent milky pink and the other is kind of a transparent tealy green. This has a medium nib. Yep. And it's currently inked with Waterman Harmonious Green. But the flow is not great. I think the tines are too tight. So I'm going to have to take a look at that. Jinhao 82 
and I'll say it's the pink one, medium nib, because I franken penned it, but the section, the grip section is, and the nib are from the pink pen. I'll call it milky pink. Well, transparent, it's not really transparent. It's kind of translucent. Translucent pink. I just have to know what pen to go back to if I have to play with the nib. And it's currently inked with Waterman. Yeah, this nib needs a little, um, a little bit of help. Waterman. Harmonious Green. Yeah, tight tines. They're very tight. There's probably hardly any room in there. And I um, flossed them a little bit before, but I still needs more. Okay. So that is lineup. I will be right back and I will show you a close-up of the swatches of this month's ink. I like the variety. I'll be right back. I'm sorry about that. I'm a little bit more in frame now. I got a little off track, but um, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Here we are with swatches, and the swatches are so pretty. I love this. Look at these colors they're so intense i love bold colors i really do i kind of tried to show the mix here but you can see it more so in the writing of the burgundy and the inspired blue dip i dipped it um probably about two pages ago by now and you're starting to see more of the burgundy come through than when i did the writing sample in my last video but I love these colors. I love Appetite. Oh gosh, isn't that so pretty? And the Sheen and Sutsuji. That's really, it's really there. I, I don't have much left in my sample. I may have to get a bottle of that. And then Cashmere Rose is so pretty. And look at Jacaranda. I love this. And the Waterman mix kind of has the same energy as Appetite, but it's more green leaning. And then Inspired Blue. And there's also a Sheen and Diamine and Walnut, which I think you can kind of see that. I had to change the blinds because, yeah, the sun is coming around. Yeah, it's coming around town. All right, so that's so pretty. I love these swatches. Just, oh, I am gonna have a good time. Oh, and not to forget the, the red-haired stepchild of the bunch. <laughs> Waterman Harmonious Green up top. All right, so that's it for this month's pairings. I am kind of excited to get the month going. I've got a couple of new pens. I got the Pilot and the pink Twisby that are totally new to me. And I am looking forward to have a good writing and journaling month. And I hope you do the same. Take care, have a great day.